Early numbers are really promising. The Gateway team has seen um, around 2,800 2, transactions per second. As more uh, use cases are built with CDK Aragon, there will be more uh, data that support higher transaction uh, TPS limits that uh, CDK Aragon allows for. Hello and welcome to gateway.fm. I'm excited to introduce our special guest today, Osman, one of the early members of Polygon business team, the one who have been working closely with Gateway for quite a while now. And today we will be discussing the recent groundbreaking uh, developments in Polygon ecosystem. We will talk about uh, the uh, Gateway's recent contributions to Polygon and what they mean for developers, for blockchain users and all the community. So hello Osman and welcome to the podcast. I'm, I'm glad to have you here. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. So before we dive into the technology stuff, uh, could you please briefly introduce yourself, uh, tell us about your experience in blockchain and your background? I think it's a great, great intro. Um, I'm one of the early members of Polygon's growth team. And specifically, I helped build this function that we call enablement. Enablement is uh, this team that works closely with top contributors within the Polygon uh, ecosystem. And we essentially work as an operator and we help these top contributors along their journey on building on Polygon protocols. Specifically, we uh, provide uh, tech and product level support, business support, marketing, ecosystem support. And Gateway is one of the teams that we've been engaging in this way. So this is pretty timely that we're having this conversation. Uh, could you tell more about how all this collaboration began? I joined the Gateway team not that far, uh, not that long ago, and it will be exciting for me to know how it all started. What were the first steps? Totally. So Gateway and Polygon relationship goes beyond my time. I joined in 2022. Um, probably Sandeep and Igor may have a more colorful story for that, but. Um, Initially, Gateway was one of the RPC and validator service providers on Polygon POS when, the chain, when that chain had first launched. And then in time, Polygon uh, kind of made an entry into the zero knowledge space. Uh, we had our first rollup, uh, Polygon ZK EVM. And given Gateway's experience in nodes and, and infrastructure, Gateway became a really uh, core engineering uh, collaborator to Polygon in building Polygon ZKVM. And once Polygon ZKVM was up and running, there was this idea of turning it into a repeatable stack so other chain developers can go and uh, use and build their own uh, chains and test their own use cases. Um, this kind of led to the idea of the development of Polygon CDK. Uh, Polygon CDK is essentially a ZK rollup stack that uh, a lot of developers can go and use. Um, and, and how Gateway contributes to Polygon CDK is exactly on those early, from the early days of ZKVM experience, uh, plays a very key role in Gateway really adding value to Polygon CDK. And um, today, Gateway has a rollup as a service uh, solution. And the, one of the first stacks that Gateway used was Polygon CDK because of their familiarity with Polygon ZKVM. And once uh, Gateway started doubling down on their role as a service uh, solution. Our collaboration uh, kind of moved on from just being engineering focused to being multi-dimensional. Today we collaborate on many fronts, including business, marketing, go-to-market, uh, and obviously our engineering collaboration is continuing as well. And now Gateway has an official status of core contributor to Polygon. Yeah. Uh, what does it mean in reality and what uh, particular uh, contributions did my team do to the Polygon? Uh, core contributor is a term that refers to teams whose product and ecosystem strategy is very much aligned with that of Polygon. Um, it, it's an ever-evolving term. Back in 2021, 2022, when Polygon POS was the first Ethereum scaling solution and was Polygon's main focus, um, core contributors were RPC providers, Oracle providers, decentralized exchanges, NFT marketplaces, really the uh, building blocks for Polygon POS to function as a general purpose blockchain uh, where users can benefit from uh, cheap transactions. Today, 
the focus is ag layer. Ag layer is, uh, Polygon is one of the core contributors to the ag layer, and it's, it's our approach to uh, connecting different execution environments. Um, how does Gateway become a core contributor when our focus is core, uh, when our focus is ag layer? It's pretty simple. Gateway builds and maintains this version of Polygon CDK that we call CDK Aragon. It's a really high performance, scalable version of Polygon, uh, of Polygon CDK. And the reason why Gateway is a core contributor is because CDK Aragon in and of itself is a very big uh, growth lever for the ag layer. Um, any developer, any uh, business that want to build their chain can use CDK Aragon and make it attached to the ag layer so that it's not just an individual isolated blockchain, but it's connected to the rest of the ether Ethereum and soon beyond Ethereum. So because, Poly uh, because Gateway maintains the CDK Aragon stack, they are most definitely a, a core contributor to uh, ag layer and Polygon uh, ecosystem. So uh, let's break it down a little bit. What is uh, Aragon CDK? Aragon CDK is the newest version of Polygon CDK stack. Um, and it essentially is a very important development because um, it adds on a lot of improvements uh, to the legacy Polygon CD CDK stack. And just for some context, uh, the initial, I think it's, it's helpful to talk about history of Polygon CDK a little bit here. Uh, initially, Polygon CDK was built on a custom client that Polygon ZK EVM was also using. And as we went to market with this, with this protocol and with the stack, we got a lot of feedback from developers, which we can get into in uh, other questions as well. But basically, CDK Aragon takes all of this developer feedback and essentially turns Polygon, Polygon CDK into a much more scalable, uh, economical, and uh, adaptable stack that many more use cases can be built on. And that does not have the limitations of legacy Polygon CDK. Uh, how was the uh, development of Aragon CDK initiated? What was uh, the reason for creating it? Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's helpful to, again, look back in history and talk about what happened when we went to market with initial legacy Polygon CDK. Um, so again, this stack was built with the custom uh, ZKVM Hermes client. And as we went to market, we started hearing uh, a few feedback points that were becoming a pattern. Uh, specifically, um, the stack was not performant enough uh, due to a specific ZK rollup limitation called ZK counter. This is similar to uh, gas limits and things like this. Um, starting cost for operating a legacy Polygon CDK was quite high compared to other competitor stacks. And because Polygon CDK's initial version was relying on a custom stack rather than a more standardized uh, client, um, the learning curve for the chain operator was pretty high. So we essentially work with the gateway team to respond to these uh, early feedback points by building a newer, more improved stack. Um, specifically, C uh, this kind of led to the development of CDK Aragon. And at a very high level, we can get into the specific features and functionalities of CDK Aragon as well. But specifically, CDK Aragon uh, has features such uh, that it, it uh, takes from the Aragon client that Ethereum uses, uh, which is a much more microservices-based architecture and has much more uh, unique features like rollback uh, uh, sequences and stuff like this that makes, again, the uh, Polygon stack, Polygon CDK stack, much more scalable and economical. What are the technical advantages of uh, Aragon CDK over the legacy Polygon CDK? CDK Aragon is a complete architecture revamp over the legacy uh, Polygon CDK stack. There are a few things, few features to point out here. First of all, the uh, new Aragon node relies on a microservice-based architecture. This makes it much more optimized uh, compared to the original database-centric approach of the legacy CDK stack. Another feature that CDK Aragon uh, has is this thing that we call Mock Prover. Uh, Mock Prover allows uh, certain builders that, want to, that don't want to rely on full execution proofs and cut costs as their testing uh, their use cases to start from a low uh, cost 
uh, setup and then uh, power up to a full execution proof um, full execution proof uh, setup and then uh, lastly but really importantly CDK Aragon comes uh, natively integrated with the ag layer what this means is that when a uh, CDK Aragon chain is launched on mainnet it already has an interoperability solution integrated with it and it this gives the node uh, this gives it this gives the chain operator uh, much more you know, ac uh, access to users and liquidity. So it empowers the egg layer. It yes, it 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 complete it it's a it's a technology that allows the egg layer to grow because it's a way for egg layer to get also more users and more liquidity. So uh, these are very symbiotic uh, two technologies that work together. Yeah, that's clear. Thank you. And uh, speaking about numbers, like key performance indicators, like transactions per second, number of requests to RPC per second, could you compare these two stacks, like Polygon Legacy Stack and uh, Aragon CDK? So we're working on getting really high quality numbers, but early numbers are really promising. Um, while the Legacy uh, Polygon CDK stack had a uh, maximum around 100 transactions per second, in a testing environment, the gateway team has seen um, around 2,800 2, transactions per second, which is really promising. Um, the most, I think, uh, in a production environment was around 200 transactions per second. So it's already a 2x improvement uh, over the legacy stack. But as more uh, use cases are built with CDK Aragon, there will be more uh, data that support higher transaction uh, TPS limits that uh, CDK Aragon allows for. Yeah, these numbers are impressive. Um, how does this performance boost enable new opportunities like new dApps, new use cases to be built on Polygon ZK EVM network? Um, so early on, there was a lot of, um, something that I didn't mention, a lot of uh, layer twos that you see on l 2 b we're testing with Polygon CDK early on. And due to the limitations such as like CK counters and operating cost, um, builders picked other stacks over Polygon CDK. But because CDK Aragon with these new performance metrics and the flexible architecture uh, allows for many more use cases that uh, legacy, uh, leg legacy Polygon uh, CDK stack could not. Um, high uh, frequency trading, uh, more enterprise level use cases, uh, more payments focused use cases are ripe for uh, to be built with CDK Aragon. That's good. It really unlocks a lot of new opportunities. Yeah. So let's now talk about Aglayer. There was, uh, there has been a quite a, a, a lot of buzz around the concept. Uh, could you tell more like why people are so bullish on this concept and what it brings uh, to the development of the overall Polygon ecosystem. 2023 and 2024 were defined by L2s. Uh, there, there has been more than 200 L2s that have went to mainnet. What that led to is fragmented user experience and fragmented liquidity. Aglayer is a technology that uh, uses zero knowledge at its core uh, to allow for various uh, chain ecosystems to operate together. Uh, specifically, it has uh, three core components. One is the unified bridge, which allows uh, chains to send chains and users on chains to send assets, send their assets cross chains, and also take actions from one take uh, take an action on one chain on another chain. Uh, the other component is pessimistic proof. This is a technology that allows not just CDK but also non-CDK and non-EVM uh, blockchains to essentially leverage the ag layer. And lastly, the last component is the toolkit that allows uh, various developers to essentially use AgLayer and connect to the AgLayer. Does it actually mean that both EVM and non-EVM chains will be able to join this ecosystem and um, leverage AgLayer? This is actually a great question and I think and it's a, it's a completely true assumption. Initially, uh, AgLayer starts with uh, accepting CDK-based chains because there's some level of uh, infrastructure that CDK-based chains run uh, to essentially attach the ag layer. 
And then the next step is EVM chains. EVM chains connect to the ag layer uh, through the use of uh, pessimistic proofs. For example, Polygon POS is one of the chains that will be connecting to the ag layer and sharing all the users and the liquidity that it has with different ag layer chains. There are also plans to uh, bring in other EVM-based chains such as Base, Optimism, and, and Arbitrum, and beyond this. And as we do this, there's all the, the toolkit that I mentioned uh, that developers can use will be much more accessible. So any EVM-based chain will be able to uh, essentially leverage the ag layer. And then the, the, I would say the third step is non-EVM non -EVM ecosystems like Move, uh, Solana. And this way, I think it will, be, it will become clear that uh, ag layer is stack agnostic, ecosystem agnostic, and it is like really at its core trying to benefit the whole Web3 space by connecting all these different execution environments with each other. And how does Aragon CDK fit the vision of ag layer development? I mean, Aragon CDK is the flag bearer. Uh, this is the first stack that natively integrates with the ag layer. So uh, already around 10 uh, chain ecosystems are using CDK Aragon, and these are all connected to the ag layer. So Aragon, CDK Aragon is one of the first builders of ag layer. So we talked a lot about uh, how Aragon CDK boosted the performance. Uh, could you name some projects who have already benefited from this uh, advancement? Totally. We've been pretty theoretical up until now. Uh, so I think two examples are Lumia is building a real-world asset chain uh, that will potentially have a lot of uh, um, transactions going through it. Uh, this Lumia is on mainnet. Um, another example is Humanity Protocol, uh, a, a fintech type application that's built on a, on app chain. Initially, uh, Humanity Protocol was using the legacy uh, CDK, and because they had around um, thirty thousand requests per second, very very difficult to build with the legacy. But as soon as they moved to uh, CDK Aragon, um, successfully started uh, processing again, around uh, 20 to 30,000 transactions. And we are essentially, we essentially have a clear path to their mainnet now. So I think these are uh, two interesting uh, use cases that are already using CDK Aragon. This sounds like a major step ahead for Polygon and uh, for the whole uh, community of blockchain builders. And I'm very excited to see how it all develops and where we will be in let's say half a year from now i believe a lot of things will be changed and i'm very excited to have uh, to follow you on this journey and support as much as we can on gateway side all the things thank you super excited to work together um, i think in a uh, in in the short term we will see a lot of growth in ag layer a lot of uh, adoption in ag layer and with this um, more technical understanding of what Aglayer is, how does zero knowledge technology uh, enables a better interoperability method for these uh, chains that are not operating together today. Um, and our collaboration will be very uh, significant in essentially growing the Aglayer. So super excited about it. Cool, let's see, let's see. Thank you for coming. It was a very exciting conversation. Pleasure is mine.